We're going to make an amaretto, one of my favourite liqueurs. It's got that lovely, lovely almondy taste to uh, smell to it. It's just awesome. So on this one, we're reading on the back of the bottle. It says take 850 mils of alcohol at 40 percent. So here's our alcohol. We'll just add that to our measuring jug. Forgive me, I'm going to have to put my glasses on because I can't see these days. I don't know whether it's computers or age, or perhaps it's a bit of both. Right, so we've got 850 mils of alcohol. And we're going to add our flavouring to it. And it's always worth just giving the bottle a tiny little rinse out. Just to make sure we haven't left anything behind. There we go. I'm just going to take the alcohol and put it back into my container. I'm going to take all this now and put it into the larger jug. And to this, we're going to add the liquor base C. Directly to the 40% alcohol and the flavouring. In she goes. I'll explain a little bit more about the bases because it is rather important. And we're going to mix them up. Top this up to 1.125 litres. Which we have done. As you can see, solidified a little on the bottom, so it just needs a bit more of the mix. Okay, we're going to leave that now to uh, rest and we'll come back shortly once it's all fully mixed up. We're just up. going to put it in the bottle. I don't know whether you've seen one of these before, but a little funnel that uh, solves a lot of problems. So in she goes. There's a little uh, filter in the bottom of the funnel just in case we've got any bits. And you can see the thickness of the liquid as well. Now, that funnel switches off automatically so that as I lift it up, you can see there's still liquid in the funnel and that won't start again until I put it into the next bottle. So it just saves all that messing around. And we'll put the top on it, label it, and we're done. The only thing we've got to do is just have a little taste of it. So here goes. Now one of the benefits of adding the bases that actually come with it is inside that there is a thickening agent so that when we swirl the liqueur, you can see the tears coming down the actual glass. So you get the thickness that you would associate with a commercial spirit, a commercial liqueur. And that's really quite important if you like to see things done properly. So again, another good reason for using the bases. So we just taste. Mm. That's the amaretto and that is absolutely gorgeous. So, next up, we'll do a cream. A cream liqueur now, and we've decided we're going to do the Baileys, the Irish cream. So, as I said before, the creams are slightly different. We take the cream base, and we add it to 250 mils of hot water. 
We've got 250 mils in the jug. So we'll add a bit at a time. tells us how much alcohol to take. 500 mils at 40%. So we take the 500 mils and we add that. Add the bottle of flavouring. Just rinse out the bottle. Ready to whisk again. Right, all we've got to do now is just top up with water to the 1.125 litre mark. Final whisk. So we've now got our Baileys at a fraction of the cost of what it would cost us to buy commercially and we have one and a half bottles of Irish cream or liqueur. So we'll, um, we'll bottle that and have a little taste in a second. Got our usual little funnel that's going to help us do it and in she goes. Goes, and we've now got our cream liqueur. 